good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is that you're watching today's video. There is no surprise that I'm in my car at 4.53 a.m. on my way to boot camp. It is Monday that I'm filming today's video, so it is a boot camp day. I actually just got back from Hawaii a few days ago on Friday. So I have been in a whirlwind since I got back just trying to catch up. I'm actually going on another trip here in a couple weeks. I leave on November 1st to go to Texas for a conference. So it is literally a spiral whirlwind trying to get everything done. I have to pre-film like I did for Hawaii. So it has been so 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 incredibly busy and today is another really busy day i have a few errands that i need to run i really haven't left my house other than to work out since i got back from hawaii because like i said i've just been trying to play catch up i guess that's part of working for yourself there's no one else to do the work and when you're on vacation it's catch up time when you get home so that is what we're going to be doing today my fab fit fun advent calendar that i ordered should be coming today i'm a subscriber to fab fit fun i always unbox it with you guys just for fun and i ordered their advent calendar because it was really good last year so that'll come today we'll unbox that so we're going to start our day off with moving our body getting in some movement getting in some exercise i always feel better after I work out. It's hard, don't get me wrong, to get up at 4 a.m. and go work out, but once it's over, I'm done by 6 a.m., I'm done in the morning, and I just feel a lot better. And working out in the morning helps me stay on track because I don't want to get up at 4 a.m. and go work out just to ruin it during the day with the wrong food choices. Let me know, are you guys morning workout people and do you feel the same way? Do you feel like it kind of sets your day up for success? I definitely know that it does for me. I did make my protein coffee this morning. I drank about half of it. I'll finish that when I get home. And I guess that's that for this morning. So I'll see you guys a little bit later at breakfast. I am home, I am ready for the day. And as you can see, I'm wearing my merch. This is my Jen's Tribe merch. I love the design of this. This is the Comfort Tea. And on the back, it says official member with the cute little heart. Love it, super comfortable. And you can see it's nice and long too. I'm wearing it with some biker shorts and it's the perfect length. You guys have been loving the merch and said the quality is really good. I have sweatshirts, tank tops, t-shirts, and I agree the quality is outstanding. So I'll link my merch down below if you're interested in checking it out, but I'm hungry, like super hungry. So I'm going to make some breakfast. I saw this reel on TikTok about making a protein yogurt kind of bowl situation for breakfast. So that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to use the Chobani zero sugar in pumpkin spice. You can use any yogurt. I'm just going to channel my pumpkin spice vibes today. And then I'm actually going to mix in a scoop of the Clean Simple Eats pumpkin pie protein. So I'm going to get 11 grams of protein in the yogurt and another 20 grams in the protein powder. And she said if you mix it in really well, it'll give you kind of a mousse consistency. So we're going to try that out. So the Clean, Clean Simple Eats protein powder is 20 grams of protein, 100 calories. It is fantastic. I really like the pumpkin pie. I do have a discount for Clean Simple Eats. I will link it down below for you. And then I'm going to top it with some walnuts to get in some healthy fat. And then for some crunch, a little of this Special K pumpkin spice cereal. So here is my breakfast, you guys. This looks amazing, absolutely amazing, and over 30 grams of protein. So let's try this and see if it's as good as they say on TikTok. All right, let's try this out. I will say it smells really good. That's delicious. So by adding in the protein powder, it gives even more pumpkin flavor. And then we have the crunch of the walnuts, which is a good healthy fat. The cereal, I added that Flavor God pumpkin seasoning, which is kind of sweet, spicy. This is incredible. I just 
finished breakfast and I actually just mixed up my Motivate Greens. These guys right here, I have the peach. I absolutely love Motivate Greens. I take this almost daily. I take this whenever I feel like I'm not going to get in enough greens. And I was thinking through the food that I'm going to be eating today and I don't have a lot of greens on the menu. So I decided to go ahead and mix up my greens in my water. It's a great way to get in water and it's a great way to get in your greens if you're missing it in your diet. I usually take the Motivate Greens, I would say maybe three to four days per week. Now you can buy the greens by themselves, but what they have on their website, which is even a better deal is what they call the digestive bundle. And you're going to get the Motivate Greens, you get to pick the flavor, the Detox Light, and you're going to get the apple cider vinegar gummies or capsules. You can see I've made quite a dent in these. I need to take apple cider vinegar gummies for today as well, but you can get this whole bundle deal. Normally it's $115, it's on sale for $99, and you can use my link for another 20% off. That is a killer deal. So $99 with an additional 20% off. So like I said, you're going to get the Motivate Greens. You get to choose the flavor, either peach or tangerine. The greens supply you with antioxidants, fruits, vegetables, fiber, and enzymes, all in one delicious drink. It contains organic ingredients and never any artificial dyes, colors, sweeteners, or flavors. The digestive enzyme and fiber blend helps your digestive system function at its best by absorbing all the key nutrients and promoting regular so if you're someone that suffers with regularity, the greens can definitely help. And like I said, it just helps you get in your fruits and veggies for the day. And then you also get the detox. Now they have the regular detox or the detox light. I've had quite a few people reach out to me and say, well, what's the difference between the detox or the light? Which one should I get? So the detox light is specifically designed to help you beat the bloat. The detox formula provides a full body cleanse and digestive support. It helps you reach your weight loss goals and support an overall health and wellness. So the black bottle, the regular detox is going to give you a stronger cleansing effect where the detox light gives you a little less strong cleansing effect. I've taken them both. I like them both, but I've really started to love the detox light. It's something that I repurchase every month and you actually get to choose the regular detox or the detox light as part of the bundle. And lastly are the apple cider vinegar gummies. I have been taking these now for a couple months. I think this is my third bottle. I love these. They taste really good and they are very, very effective. You are going to take two every single day and they're cute. They're shaped like little apples. There are 60 gummies, so it's a full month supply. You can also choose the capsules if you don't want to use the gummies. Apple cider vinegar is known for its ability to support healthy digestion, boost metabolism, and promote weight loss. Not everybody loves the taste of apple cider vinegar, so you can get it in either the capsule form or the really yummy gummies. The gummies, as well as the capsule, provide a thousand milligrams per serving, and the gummies are the highest quality with amazing flavor. They have an apple flavor with a little bit of a tang, much less than if you just drink apple cider vinegar, even in water, not good. This is a great way to reap all the rewards of apple cider vinegar that actually tastes good. And again, you get to choose the gummies or the capsules. So all three products in the digestive bundle for $99 and then use my link down below for another 20% off. I use the apple cider vinegars daily, the detox, and then I use the Motivate Greens, like I said, a few times a week. This is a killer, killer deal. So I had to share it with you guys. These will help you promote a healthy digestive system, which automatically can lead to additional weight loss. So check it out. I'll make sure I link Motivate down below for you with that 20% discount. Are you awake for the day? This is early for you. Come on. Are you awake? Yeah, you are? Nola, do you guys need to have a morning treat? Oh, yes. Of course, of course we do. Of course. Good morning, pumpkin. Good morning, Lola.
Cheers, I just made up my second coffee of the day. I do have a couple errands to run and then we're going to take Lola to get her nails cut a little bit later this afternoon. So I went ahead and made my coffee in my 24 ounce glass tumbler with a lid. I bought these off of Amazon. I'm not sure they're still available. If they are, I'll link them down below for you. And I had my homemade cold brew that I make in my cold brew pitcher. Let me show you what cold brew I use. So I use the Drag Up cold brew. What I have made right now is pumpkin AF. I'm out of that and I have the cookies and cream. I haven't tried this one yet, but all the flavors I've tried have been so good. So the next batch will be made with the Drag Up cookies and cream. I tried a lot of cold brews, didn't like any of them. This is the only one that I like. I do have a discount for Drag Up. I'll link it and I'll also link my cold brew pitcher off of Amazon. I can't tell you how much money making my own cold brew at home has saved me. So you can see behind me that I'm currently cleaning my espresso machine. It had the clean D scale and I'm going to have a snack while I'm cleaning. So I'm going to have a pretty simple snack. I have a 100 calorie pack of cashews and then I have this Simply Snackin' meat stick. This is teriyaki beef with pineapples. These are really good. Nice clean ingredients, grass fed, nine grams of protein, three grams of sugar, and... 90 calories, so not bad at all. So this is my morning snack. Lola, get Palmer. Oh, get the baby, get the baby. Oh, get the baby from Palmer. Get him, Lola. Palmer, tell me you got. Yeah, hi, oh, you're so handsome. You're so handsome. And you got your baby, Lola, here. Lola, yeah, get him, Lola. Yeah, get him. Get Palmer. I know, I love you. You're so pretty girls. We gotta get your nails cut today. They're ridiculously long. Yes, they are ridiculously long. All right, we're in the car. I actually left my coffee at home. I am like in a hurry to get out the door. I put my coffee in the fridge really quickly while I got everything together to go to the post office. I had packages to mail and bills to mail. So I made sure I had everything. And then I walked out the door without my coffee. So that's okay. I'm only gonna be gone about 10 minutes. I'm quickly running to the post office to do to mail out a few things and then I'm gonna run back home, get Lola, and we're gonna take little Missy to get her nails cut. We've been getting her nails cut at her oncologist office, but she actually doesn't have to go back for a follow-up uh, for a couple months. So we're going to have to take her for a nail trim in between. They're so lovely there and they don't even charge me, but there is a place in my community, it's a five minute drive. It's actually right by Fry's, the, the grocery store that I shop at, called Wigs and Whiskers. And the guy that owns it is this Super huge, oh, sorry, sidetracked by this cute dog. Oh my gosh, so cute, he's so happy, his little bandana. Oh, there you go, you guys saw him in the background. Anyways, the guy that owns it is this huge guy. Not fat, but like buff, muscular guy. He's probably like 6'3", six, 6'4", six, and he is just a beast of muscle and he loves Lola. Whenever Lola comes in, he is always excited to see her and sometimes he'll even pick her up and hold her while the tech cuts the nails and just love on her. So it's cute. She likes that place. They love her there. So we have to get her nails cut and then I think little Mr. Palmer Clayton, it may get a bath today. Uh, Troy was talking about giving Palmer a bath and he's so good in the bath, like such a good dog. So. If Troy gives him a bath, I will uh, film it and show you guys. He's so cute. There's times that he'll even go over to the tub and pop his hands up like he wants a bath. So we're not mad that he doesn't get mad about taking a bath. I also have a coaching call in about an hour. So I wanna get home before that. I actually have two coaching calls back to back. So we're gonna make this a whirlwind trip to the post office and then we'll go grab Lola for that nail trim. All right, we're in the car, ready for nail trim. I got a dog on my lap. She couldn't be happier looking out the window. So we're gonna take her quickly to Wigs and Whiskers. I just realized when I got in the garage that there's blue all over the floor in the garage. Apparently my windshield washer fluid container in my car is leaking everywhere. I still haven't done the brakes in this car or had the brake light reset. Alrighty, come on, let's go get your nails. Lola, Lola, come on, you're sidetracked. Come on, Nug. Lola, come on. Lola, come on, come on. Lola, no, uh-uh, come on. There you go. Come on, no, that's the restaurant. Yeah, that's the restaurant. Come on. Good girl, you're really happy about this. Come on, this way. 
is here, the FabFitFun Advent Calendar. I love to buy this every single year. I bought this last year, it was so, so good. I don't know if you have to subscribe to FabFitFun Fab Fit Fun to actually buy the advent calendar. I'll put all the information down below for you. I am an annual member. I love being an annual member because I get to select everything that comes in my box. Fat Fit Fun comes out four times a year, so once a quarter. So there's a fall, winter, spring, and summer box. It's always a really, really good deal, especially as an annual member. You get to pick your own stuff. So I got an email saying that their advent calendar was here and I had to get it. Here's what it looks like, it's huge. So it's 12 days and it's everything from beauty to home to fashion. It's ever there's a little bit of everything and it, like I said, it was so, so, so good last year. I'll link it down below for you, all the pricing, the information, but I thought we could unbox it together. I've been dying for it to show up and it literally came like five minutes ago. So let's start unboxing. It's gonna be a little cumbersome since it's so big, but we'll start with number, door number one. Someone explained to me why Advent <laughs> Doors are so hard to get into. I literally had to break out my scissors, but I got into door number one and it looks like we have from Laneige, ooh, that's a great brand, the Waterbank Billy Hyaluronic Cleansing Foam. Ooh, so we have a facial cleanser from Laneige. I love Laneige, I use their sleeping mask. Here is what it looks like and everything in here is full size. And this is the Hyaluronic cleansing balm. So it's going to be hydrating, which is perfect for me, perfect for the winter months, which makes perfect sense in an advent calendar. Ooh, I'm excited for that. Door number two is over here and it's probably gonna be really hard to get into. And we have something from the brand Grace and Stella. I really like this brand. I have their eye cream and it's so good. This is the eye mask. It's like an energy drink for your eyes. So I don't know if this is just one eye mask or several. Oh, it's several. Oh, wow. So it's a package of several eye masks. I use an eye mask a couple of times a week, especially in the winter, to re-add the hydration under my eyes. And like I said, I've used their eye cream from the Grace and Stella brand and really liked it. Number three is this tiny, tiny door. Ooh, we have Milk Makeup. This is in the shade Work. This is their cream blush. I actually have this and I love it. So it is a stick cream blush. It's a really pretty shade, kind of a mauve shade, a very neutral color. This is fantastic. I love cream blush. I wear cream blush every single day. Door number four. So this is fun. We have some Glamnetic nails. These are the press-on nails. These are really pretty. They're a pink kind of Frenchy looking tip and you get a full set. I know this brand Glamnetic is really pricey. Now I get my nails done so I'll probably pass these on but that's a fun addition. Door number five is this huge one. We've got bubble wrap. It looks like something from the brand Laura Geller. And this is the full face palette, party in a palette. Ooh, this is fun. We have a blush bronzer highlighter, I believe. So here is what it looks like. Oh yeah, this is really pretty. Oh, and there's eyeshadow, it looks like too. Okay. So we have six eyeshadows, a blush, and a highlight. This is really pretty for a neutral palette. I've never tried a Laura Geller shadow. Actually, I don't think I've ever tried anything from Laura Geller, so I'm excited for this. This would be fantastic for travel because you have eyeshadows, a blush, and a highlight. Number six. I love these. This is from the brand Spongel, and this is the Peach and Lychee Ice. So basically what this is, is it's a body scrubber with the soap already in it. Super convenient. I love these for travel. Then I don't have to take a body wash and a scrubber, it's all in one. And I'm actually going, as you know, on another trip here to Texas in about a week and a half. So I'm immediately going to pop this in it to my suitcase. These are just super convenient and really easy and there is a little string to hang it in your shower. Number seven. Oh, how fun. We got some earrings. Okay, I love that you get jewelry and lifestyle in here. This is from the brand Marilyn Schiff and these are some studs. These are 
so absolutely beautiful. I've been actually thinking about swapping out my uh, stud in my second hole, and these are really pretty. So we have these two circles and these fun stars. I love, love, love that we got some earrings. Number eight, listen, we're gonna pull this way. <laughs> We're gonna pull this way because these are hard to open. This is from the brand Bioma. Now, I really, really like this brand and this is the Brightening Serum. It tr says Triceramide Complex for Soother Boosted Barrier Serum. I love, love, love their packaging. I have their makeup cleansing balm and love it. And I know that this is a pretty pricey brand, so I'm excited to get some serum. Number nine is the biggest door in the advent calendar. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm really excited for this. Look at this headband. I wear these to put my makeup on and sometimes I like them just as a fun accent piece. Look how pretty this is. It's a black velvet with these gold sparkles. This is so cute, I have to try this. I know that my hair's up, but I have to try this. This is so cute. I mean, it is perfect for the holidays. Number 10. So this is Dear Santa Define Good, and this is the original coffee scrub. How fun. This is from the brand Frank Body. This is really, really cute. It's in Christmas packaging. I can smell coffee. Oh my gosh, I actually almost bought a coffee scrub in Hawaii and it was so expensive. I was like, no, I'm gonna skip out. So I'm super excited for this. I exfoliate in the shower two to three times a week. So again, this immediately making its way into my shower. Number 11, which is a good size door. Oh, how fun are these? We got Barefoot Dreams in this advent calendar. That is such an expensive brand. I literally own nothing from it because the blankets are well over $100. Their robes are a couple hundred dollars. These fuzzy socks, oh my gosh, they're so soft. I can't believe we got Barefoot Dreams in here. These I am so excited for these. Even though I live in Arizona, it does get cold overnight, and I love a good fluffy sock when I'm working at my desk or just watching TV. Barefoot dreams, you guys, in the Fat Fit Fun Advent Calendar. And then last but not least, day 12, which typically is the biggest, most spectacular day. It should be, but it's, that's not always the case. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. From Amika. I love the Amika brand. It is a pricey brand at Sephora. This is well over $40. I used to use their blonde hair mask all the time. This is the Soul Food Nourishing Mask. So this is a hair mask, not the blonde edition or the purple edition. I am so excited for this. I am almost out of my hair mask. Oh. It smells so good. Look at that. It's so thick. Their hair masks are incredible. A little bit goes a long way and your hair just comes out silky and smooth and hydrated. This is the superfood, so it's great for winter. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I mean, literally these two items pay for the FabFitFun box. I'm so excited. This was really, really, really good. Again, I'll link it down below if you're interested in subscribing to FabFitFun or getting the advent calendar. I'll put it all down below for you. This was really, really good. Okay, I'm going to make some lunch before my next coaching call. I have some shrimp that I'm going to cook up with some of this sesame teriyaki sauce. I'm just gonna throw this shrimp in a pan and cook it up. And I'm going to make a bowl because I also have leftover quinoa from my meal prep. So this is just tri-colored quinoa. I have leftover pinto beans from my meal prep. And then I'm going to throw in some edamame. This is the pre-shelled ready to go edamame that I bought at Sprouts. So I'm going to throw this in the microwave, get this cooking, get the shrimp going and put together my bowl for lunch. So here's my lunch. I'm so excited for this. So I have my shrimp. I have four ounces of shrimp, third of a cup of cooked quinoa, a quarter cup of pinto beans, and a quarter cup of edamame. I drizzled some of that sesame teriyaki sauce on top. It's only 15 calories per tablespoon. I have three tablespoons total, and then some sesame seeds. So this is going to be my protein pack, fiber-filled lunch. It's time for an afternoon snack, and I'm going to make kind of a snack plate 
kind of. So I'm going to do some crackers. I actually bought these Fiber Gourmet crackers from Nutrition. These are amazing, by the way. The Fiber Gourmet flour, million out of 10. I use that in my meal prep. Nutrition is such a fantastic website. I have a 10% discount for them. I'll link it down below if you're interested in checking out the website. I love it. You can have eight of these crackers for 70 calories. There is also 14 grams of fiber and three grams of protein. And they're kind of similar to a water cracker. I'll show you guys my little plate when I put it together. They're so good. So I'm going to have eight of those. And then I'm going to have two slices of the Laughing Cow Cheese Pepper Jack. And I'm going to spread that on my crackers. I'm going to pop some raspberries on my plate. And I'm going to have one of my little peanut butter no-bake energy bites that I made in my meal prep. So let me put together my afternoon snack plate. I'll show it to you, give you points, calories, and macros. So here's my little snack plate. I've shown these plates a few times. They come in a four pack on Amazon. I'll link them for you. I love, love, love them. So I have my little energy bite, my two wedges of Laughing Cow cheese, eight fiber gourmet crackers. So this is what they look like. Like I said, they're kind of like a water cracker. They're actually really delicious. I am definitely going to order some more on Nutrition. And then I have 60 grams of fresh raspberries. Again, I'll link Nutrition with 10% off and my little snack plates. For dinner tonight, I am making a harvest chicken skillet with sweet potatoes and Brussels sprouts. We're even adding in some bacon. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need a bacon of your choice, salt and pepper, an onion, two Granny Smith apples, about three cups of Brussels sprouts, a couple of sweet potatoes, cinnamon, thyme, broth of your choice. I'm using this veggie broth that I had in my fridge, minced garlic, and chicken breast. The first thing I am going to do is peel and chop my sweet potatoes, my apples, and my onion. So you're going to need a big skillet. So I'm using my caraway skillet. I love this thing. It's amazing. I'll link caraway down below for you. They're expensive, but they're really good quality cookware. I did add a little bit of oil and then you would typically fry up your bacon first, but since mine is fully cooked, I just threw it in the microwave. So I have my oil warming up. I've chopped up my apple, red onion, and my sweet potato. So I'm going to add all of that to my skillet. And then you're also going to add in your Brussels sprouts. And we're going to allow all of our veggies to start to cook through. I'm going to add in about a half of a cup of my broth and then pop the lid on my skillet to steam these veggies. So my veggies are just about done. They're nice and soft. The Brussels sprouts still have a little bit of cooking to do, but I'm going to remove the veggies from the skillet, put them back into the bowl since we need to cook the chicken. Now I'm going to add in a big scoop of minced garlic. Let that become fragrant. And then we're adding in our diced up chicken. And we're going to season that with our salt and pepper. Our cinnamon and our thyme. And then you're going to allow your chicken to cook completely through. Now we're going to go ahead and add back in our vegetables and allow it to cook for about another five to seven minutes. All right, dinner is ready. Palmer Clayton got a new toy. If you hear him squeaking in the background, I just added the crispy bacon right on top. This looks amazing. Such a great way to get in veggies, lots of protein, good complex carbs. Let me go ahead and plate this up and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So here is my dinner. This looks really, really good. This is about a half of a serving. The whole skillet only makes four servings. I definitely can't eat that much in one sitting. So I did about a half of a serving. You can always go back for the rest of it or just do half the points of the original recipe and make it into eight servings if you want, whatever your preference. But all the information is here on the screen for you. So it is dessert time. It is the end of the night. I am exhausted. I'm going to take a shower, wash my hair. It's hair washing day. Put on a face mask. Maybe use those eye masks that came in my Fat Fit Fun Box and relax with Lola watching some TV. I have a 90 day fiance to catch up on. So for dessert, I'm going to have this little guy. I bought these at Sprouts, you guys. These are really, really good. These are the Cleo Greek yogurt bars. This one is in pumpkin spice. 
She's delicious. If you love pumpkin spice, it's very pumpkin-y, very spicy. Nine grams of protein. So I'm gonna get in a good amount of protein. And like I said, super, super good. So this is dessert for tonight. I'm gonna go relax and enjoy the rest of my evening. joining me for today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all the good food, that amazing dinner recipe. I will link Motivate and the Fab Fit Fun down below for you. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on, because I do What I Eat in a Day every Wednesday, and I actually upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, you'll also find my recipe website for tonight's dinner recipe, links and discounts to everything I shared with you today, and of course, come join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Wednesday, friends. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.